What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to have some gameplay with my third rank 3 7 star champion, which is Bullseye. And I pulled him, you know, I, I pulled him from my Titan Crystal like two seasons ago, two BG seasons ago. And he's honestly, he's been doing so well in defense. So when I pulled that 2 to 3 skill gem, there was no better option for sure. Like he's such a good defender. There is a chance he gets like a bit nerfed. But, you know, even if he gets nerfed, I feel like he's got so many good things about him on defense. So that, let's say, if they take out some of his, like, bleed damage through the block, he still does, like, crit through the block. He's got that annoying SP1. So I feel like even if he does get nerfed a bit, he's still gonna be such a pain, especially as a rank 3. And here we're gonna showcase him a little bit without Suicide first. Suicide first, we're gonna go into Realm of Legends, uh, go until Rhino, just so we can showcase him until, uh, or with that class advantage as well. And uh, yeah, not too bad. You can crit through the block, actually deal a lot of damage. But, you know, you don't really want to use Bullseye too much on attack. Because he's just such a good defender. Even with good options, he can still mess you up really, really tough. Really, really hard. Like, I, I use Kitty Bright for him, for the most part. And she's really good, because you basically never can get hit. Because you're phasing all the time, and he's bypassing your miss. But, sometimes, man, if you take an SP1, that just takes half your health. So yeah, this was not the best fight. That was like a minute and 12 seconds. That was not too bad because we don't really have any suicides. Don't really have any boosts. And uh, yeah, that was a 540,000 HP. This fight I think is going to be slightly faster. So there is a certain rotation that I like doing. But I don't know if I'm going to showcase it now. I know I showcased it when I used him with uh, recalls though. So basically you want to get to like under special 3. So that you pop the special 2 and then with the passive stun, you get to that SP1. And then you can pause your killer instinct before it goes away. And that's going to allow you to do like an extra evade, which will give you that fury if you have a special ready. So that's what I'm trying to do, but I don't know if I'm going to do it now. There we go, do get that evade. Boom, that's such a sick animation. You don't really need to do the perfect release, not as much as like Kate Bishop. Because you get like a dialing passive, which doesn't do too much. But it's, it's nice to have. Also, you just you refresh the uh, cruelties, I believe, if you hit the preferred release, which is kind of nice. But yeah, Bolsa yeah, actually has pretty decent utility, man. He's like immune to decks. He does have those guaranteed critical hits. He's got that evade, which is a nice safety net. Like, I, I kind of like him on attack. He's pretty satisfying. And if you're not impressed with this, which this was, this was a minute, that was not bad. So this fight isn't going to be too fast with Rhino. But like, if you're not impressed with this, you're gonna be impressed with what he did in one of my battlegrounds fight. So I used him once on attack when I did my stream uh, the other day, and I used him against a photon, a rank five photon, ascended photon, I believe, and she destroyed that photon so hard because, like, dude, she is bleed immune as well, so I'm missing a ton of my damage. So yeah, like, uh, you're gonna be impressed with the, uh, that kill for sure. There we go, but like it, it, it's the only the only the only time I got to use him because he just always banned, you know. I have three rank threes and usually you fix it and bullseye get banned like instantly. Especially that bullseye now. Okay, here we're gonna get hit purposely by he threw his special, unfortunately. It's really nice having someone that's a skill jump and in the immune to decks. It's actually pretty underrated, I think. But like once you get that passive fury, the damage is really strong. It's 10k medium attacks, and that's guaranteed. Like it's it's like guaranteed critical hits. That's you're always gonna deal that that much damage. But that is we want the passive fury, did some nice bleed damage. That was a good special one for sure. So like one is two, one is one. Basically deals like 300k damage. So yeah, that, that's why he's pretty good for BGs because like you just gotta build up to three bars of power and it, it's over. So now we're gonna get to our special two, get our killer instinct back. Gonna purposely get hit, there we go. Kinda weird there, but it did work, because you wasn't still cool. And boom, you can hit that perfect release, stop pausing, and that is it. Now this is gonna be the best fight, obviously this is gonna be the Rhino. Uh, let's skip to that. 540,000 HP. And after this I'm gonna show you Labyrinth of Legends Red Hulk with three cool masteries. Because dude, this guy, if I get him awakened, He's gonna be so good with three cool masters because you can do like a heavy attack, and then if he's like sick to hunter, I don't know what happened. Or I don't know how much it is if he's sick twenty, but like it's a fifty percent chance to remove half the debuffs off of you. So like you can just remove suicides really early on if you're lucky, even at sick twenty. So man, if I get him awakened, 
he'd be sick with suicides for sure. And the, you know, suicides really help him a lot because he kind of needs that damage bump. Look at this. Against class advantage, 12k medium attacks. We are gonna pop that special one right here. I don't know why I did that, but that was kind of cool. There we go. And look at this. He's he's down to 20% with one rotation with class advantage, or like 17%. So it's not bad. I think that's one. He's gonna do it. Yeah. See, that was, that was a really fast fight, actually, for 540,000, 50 seconds. Not bad. And now we have the Labyrinth of Legends Red Hulk. We still don't have any synergies. I don't know what the best synergies are for Bullseye. I don't think there's any, like, really good ones. But, uh, yeah, this is 1.5 million HP. We are building up our cruelties. As you can see, we're always, always hit 10k medium attacks already without even getting that fury. I also have that like Black Panther Relic on him, which is really nice. It gives you those like small cruelties. It's not, I don't think it's like too crazy, but it, it's a nice thing to have. I'd say it's one of the best rank three because it, it helps a lot of skill champions with, you know, their guaranteed crits, Mole Man, Bullseye. But uh, yeah, I might be missing some. I I'm sure I'm missing some. Here I'm trying to beat that special, but he doesn't want to throw it. <laughs> there you go. So I think I'm gonna do the rotation that I'm, I'm, I, I, I said right now. Let's see. That's a really beautiful special too. Boom, hit that for release, 24k. 14,000 with that medium attack, not too bad. Pop the relic here, as you can see my killer instinct is paused now. So instead of throwing this one here, I'm gonna save it to another special too. I don't know if that's the best thing you can do, but like this between reverses your cruelties if you hit the release. And look at this here, just barely I evaded. Just barely. I didn't really nail it too much, but uh, it still was really nice. It allowed me to get another Fury uh, without having to wait for the cooldown of the Killer Instinct. So I think that might be like a better rotation because look at this two special twos and he's half his health. So that was like 700k HP. So I feel like this might be better. This is definitely what you want to do against Bleed Immune Champs because, like, you know, you only really want to use this one if they are not Bleed Immune because that just it just does a lot of damage with that bleed passive as well which increases your bleed uh, damage i believe bleed vulnerability and as you can see my clearance thing is still paused here so i'm just trying to build up to my special two it is paused once you have one bar of power and now we're gonna get hit i think there we go at this point i'm just gonna stun him hit the relic and then sp1 it's probably gonna do it or it's not probably not gonna do it but he's gonna be really low there we go Boom, three percent. So yeah, man, that's that's not bad. Like it did take a while for sure, but like I said, now if 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 that didn't impress you at all, which you know it's not too impressive, but like wait until you see that photon fight. So right here, this is the battleground match that I I just uh, mentioned. Two hundred seventy-eight thousand HP. This is a rank five photon. She's not sig two hundred, but she's like sig one ten, which doesn't matter too much. Like she's gonna t die so fast. That she's not even gonna get to like pure life form, I believe. And look how easy you can take down Fortune with this, because you can just parry all, all you want, because you just bypass miss, which is really nice, man. It just it saves you a lot of block damage and riskier intercepting. So here I'm gonna try beat that special two, and this meta basically gives you like a five percent fury uh, when you dex. So right here we got six, we got seven, and what I'm gonna do here is block those two hits and then dex the last one so that I can get nine. Because if you get to ten, you lose all of them. So that means I have another 45% more attack on myself right now. And dude, look at this. Like, it, it, that's a, bit, a big overkill. Because I had that Fury. And it was it was crazy, man. So I, I look at the score. That's a 50,000 score. Against the Photon. A 6 rank 5 Photon. Ascended as well. So, yeah, I think that's pretty impressive. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.